Now that we've defined our machine and our stock, we can now extract the features that are machinable on this part. There are a couple of ways to do this. You can use the Extract Machinable Features command, and CamWorks will automatically identify the machinable features on a part, and recommends the operation that can be used to machine it. You also have the ability to define features manually. We'll explore both these options, beginning with the Extract Machinable Features command. To launch the Extract Machinable Features command, I can either right-click on the NC Manager and select Extract Machinable Features, or I can click on the Extract Machinable Features icon on the CamWorks toolbar. Notice how several of these icons are grayed out. These icons will become available as we move forward. When I click the Extract Machinable Features icon, you'll see the CamWorks message window appear that displays the progress and status of the current process. If you ever have any trouble with any of the steps in creating toolpaths, this message window is a great place to troubleshoot. The window only appeared for a second when I ran the Extract Machinable Features command, but I can reopen it using this icon here to review the processes that CamWorks completed. I can also pin the message window open by using the push pin button. But for now, I'll just close the window. In the CamWorks Feature Manager tree, you'll see it has been updated to show a new part setup and the machinable features that were identified on the part. Under this part setup, you can see the features that were automatically recognized by CamWorks here in Magenta. The part setup that was created represents the Z-axis machining direction that a series of operations will be based on. Since all of the features in this part can be machined using a single orientation, only one part setup was created. If this part required multiple orientations to machine all of the features, you would see multiple part setups listed in this tree. Under this part setup, you can see the features that were automatically recognized by CamWorks here in Magenta. The features are listed in the tree in the order they are recognized. Additionally, you have some control over the types of features that CamWorks will recognize with the Extract Machinable Features command. If I click on the Options icon and switch to the Mill Features tab, you see the types of features that I've selected for CamWorks to extract. I'll show you more about these types of features later in the section called 2.5 Axis Features. For now, I'll click OK. You see that CamWorks is recommending a rough and finish for these pockets and a drill for the four holes. What if instead of drilling these holes, we actually wanted to tap them? To do this, I can right-click on the feature and select Parameters. Here, I can adjust the strategy and select Thread from the drop-down list. Then, if I click the Library button, I can designate which tap will be used. I'll select the Quarter 20 tap and click OK. With the changes made, I'll click OK one more time to close the dialog box. Now you'll see Thread in brackets next to the feature. You can see that it updated all of the holes in the group to be tapped. There's another way to do this that might save you some time. If you created these holes using the hole wizard with a thread callout in SolidWorks, CamWorks will automatically detect the callout and recommend the appropriate features and operations for you. There's one trick to making this work. When you add your hole wizard holes, be sure to check the box in the property manager labeled with thread callout. This will add a cosmetic thread callout to your holes. And when I switch over to the CamWorks Feature Manager tree, you can see the hole has been added. Additionally, if we wanted to do an operation on the pocket features, I can right-click on the feature, select Parameters, and go to the Strategies drop-down. The strategies here are set up in the Technology Database, which determine the operations that will be used to machine the features in this part. Later, I'll show you how to create your own custom strategies for certain types of features that you machine on a regular basis. For now, I'll stick with the rough and finish strategy that is already set up.